International Training Institute's 59th graduation was celebrated at the APEC House where more than 200 students graduated with certificates for and diploma in various courses. Students graduated in diploma in business management, information and communication technology, marketing, accounting and human resource management. Yes, we had about uh, 275 who graduated. Uh, so there's some didn't turn up, but 275. Uh, so we, um, that's in all the programs. We, we have up to, up to advanced diploma programs. So. He said the students are employment ready and should easily find a job. He said sometimes jobs are offered by the institution to the students. Uh, yes, as per jobs, yes. Uh, so a lot, lot of the students are uh, given uh, uh, opportunity also to attend like creating CVs and all that uh, before they go out. And a lot, lot of our programs are catered for workplace pretty much. And we even have an advisory uh, committee which actually is made up of industries who advises us as well on that. So, so we are pretty much interlinked with the industry and a lot of the industries do approach us for students when they finish uh, as a job em employment and also uh, a lot of uh, some of the students are given a job or, or what do you call it, job placement and also through OJT. Chairman Sentil Kumaran said the institution is recognized under the higher education sector and continues to provide quality and affordable education in the country to Papua New Guineans. Meet up to the high level standard as well. So that's uh, so to maintain that we always uh, focus on quality. Make sure we are improving because always uh, you never stay still. You, there's a lot of room for improvement, so that's what we continue to do. He added that ITI also offers scholarship to students where their institution exists in the country. He said the amount of scholarship started small but went up to 300,000 kina and now to almost 1 million kina. So far 1 million, over 1 million actually. We started with a small amount and built it up to 300,000. But next year we probably shift to about 350,000. Uh, per year. So this is not, yeah, so it, over time it's going to be a lot more. The International Training Institute is looking forward to hosting its Jubilee next year. ITI Jubilee, um, it's gone very fast. <laughs> Started Orilavi House with 30 students and now we are here and having a graduation at APEC House. So that's a good achievement and I think our staff, everyone has achieved, you know, this. And going was 25, 50 year is we are looking at our future, next step, what we need to do, how we're going to improve. It's all about improving uh, the quality of our product as well and giving you know, job opportunities for students as well. He said ITI will continue to provide quality and affordable education to Papua New Guineans.